Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now in this video we're going to be unboxing this all. These are quite a, a lot of combined packages. And let's get the old trusty knife back out again and let's see what's inside. Now there should be a few packages for various projects inside of these. I think I'm going to start with the smallest one. So let's cut it open. Let's cut it open properly. Oh, these are the yeah, these are the double row angled headers that I ordered. I needed those for a project that I'm working on. It's a Bluetooth adapter for the old Nokia phones. And during the design phase I opted for these double row and 90 degree angled connectors. So I ordered them naturally as one would do when you're using it in a project. I think that these should be enough for all the uh, products that I'm going to produce, all the examples. So let's go ahead and open these. Now I might have to blur something because my errors will be on here, let's see, or I can do it like this, there you go, so there are a few items in here, let's just start with the envelope shall we, there are up and what's, the oh this is an LED strip, yeah, I wanted an LED strip that would give a uniform output, not just the individual LEDs. Uh, and I found these, and I'm hoping that these actually give a uniform output, so let's put that to the test. I've got my lab batch set to 12 volts. Let's see what they do. Ah, they're current limiting. So yeah, there still you can still notice that there are individual LEDs in there, but you can notice it much less than when there was no diffusion layer uh, on top of the LEDs, which there is. So I'm actually quite happy with these. Well, of course, as usual, all the links to all the products that I bought are in the description down below. So. If you want to check it out, you can actually check them out. Uh, there you go. What's this? Oh, yeah, this this is the other side. Why does this come in a box? Oh, well, well. well. This is the other side of the connector. Uh, it's used for a board-to-board -board interconnect. So I needed a female version and a male version. And if I did my research correctly, these should now fit. And they do. But one is notab noticeably larger and higher than the other one. But I do need to make sure that I solder them in place with both ends connected. Otherwise, it won't really work. So that's something I need to pay attention to, but other than that, it seems to work just fine. So on to the next one, which is this small package. I'm wondering what it could be. I'm going to continue a project that I'm working on rather soon. And that's the uh, LED that I'm currently using as well. The other one fell and died and broke and went to pieces and exploded and all that stuff. And I needed a new one. Uh, so I printed out all the parts, I checked what I had left from the previous part, but I couldn't find these regulator boards anymore that I'm using to uh, generate a 12 volt output for the fan. So naturally, instead of searching around, I ordered new ones. There are bug boost converters, which is important, because uh, whenever you dim the LED, below 12 volts, I don't want the fan to start slowing down, I just want the fan to run at its regular speed, which is achieved by 
uh, boosting the output to 12 volts again. So it's a pretty neat module actually. It, uh, it has uh, quite some potential. I'm wondering what this could be, man. Quite an uh, explosive mill back today. Everything's breaking around and tearing apart. And yeah, this is not going to work. There you go. Oh, these are PCB standoffs. So, PCB standoffs with screws and another compartment section here that you can use to screw PCBs on a standoff obviously like so they come with nuts and all kinds of other stuff and I'm going to be using this for a project that I might share something with you in the future or I might not not sure what I will do. So these will come in very helpful. And now on to the next big package. Let's tear it apart. Like so. Oh, and it reveals uh, an item. Self-soldering heat shrinks. I went through them so quickly that I I saw a, a ad on uh, Aliexpress, 300 pieces, self soldering heat shrinks. So I thought I need that, because they are awesome. Now, I don't think that there are 300 self soldering heat shrinks. I think that the grand total of all the heat shrinks in this box is 300, so... Oh well, doesn't really matter. I've got self soldering heat shrinks again. So what's next? A ViewSonic charger cable. So it's a uh, OnePlus clone cable. And it was in, uh, on discount, so yeah, why not? More cables is more better actually, so uh, now I've got another cable. And there are a few other things in here as well. Let me just get it out of here. So this is not a combined package, but it's from the same seller. Uh, more heat shrinks. And these are self-soldering heat shrinks. There are 100 pieces of them inside of this box. And a O-ring collection. Now, it's always handy to have O-rings around, especially when doing maintenance work on cars, as I sometimes do. So, yeah, O-rings are a really uh, essential piece of equipment when it comes to replacing your oil, for example. Most of the times the oil drain plug uses a copper crush washer for the sealing, for sealing against the engine. So yeah. Now the final piece already. Wow, oh, that goes really fast. Oh. Chemical plastic packaging. Blech. A bag in a bag in a bag in a bag. Nice. There you go. So sometimes when you are doing interior work you need to remove some paneling and you can try and pry them out by hand but it's usually a uh, quite a mess and quite a, some work to do and I saw these on Aliexpress and I thought hey this could make my life a lot easier. So I ordered these uh, interior panel unclipper tools, which hopefully would make my life easy. So they come in all different sizes, 
and of course this one I think this is the generic one that's supposed to fit all but I, it does feel really cheap though it's metal but the plastic plastic uh, hand piece so the plastic hand piece does feel really cheap oh well if they work I'm happy oh this is really flimsy actually you really need to pay attention to when you're using these that you don't break them and the tooth gets stuck between the clip and the panel because then you won't be able to get another of these tools in there so let's actually grab a test PCB and see if these connectors fit put on my ESD band real quick so they're supposed to go over there and this is supposed to break so one goes over there and the other one goes over there and then they connect up using the headers like this that fits which is really nice how so this one will fit too they're the same pitch obviously ah this looks as if it's going to work actually thank you guys for watching this video as I've said previously all the links to the items that I bought are in the description down below so make sure to check them out if you find something that you like and I will catch you guys in the next video bye